Hey guys, welcome back, I'm Jay. In this episode, we're gonna look at CloudFormation nested stacks. Nested stacks are stacks created as part of other CloudFormation stacks. As your infrastructure grows, common patterns can emerge in your stacks. You can reuse these common components in each of your templates. As a best practice, you should use nested stacks to declare common components. Nested stacks allow you to reuse common components, without declaring the same components in different templates. You can separate out common components and configurations, and create dedicated templates for them. You can reference these templates in other templates. By using nested stacks, you can mix templates and create a single unified stack. For example, you might have common configurations for EC2 instances and load balancers across many stacks. Instead of copying and pasting the same configurations into your templates, you can create a dedicated template for them. Nested stacks can also contain other stacks, resulting in a hierarchy of stacks. The top-level stack is called the root stack. All nested stacks ultimately belong to the root stack. Each nested stack has an immediate parent stack. For example, in this diagram, stack A is the root stack of all other stacks. Stack A is also the parent of stack B and C. Stack C is the parent stack of D. Certain stack operations, such as stack updates, should be initiated from the root stack, rather than performed directly on nested stacks. For example, if you want to remove a nested stack, you can delete the reference to the nested stack in the root template, and update the root stack using the modified template, instead of deleting the nested stack directly. Please keep in mind, if a nested template is modified, any stacks referencing it will be updated, when you perform a stack update. To use nested stacks, you can simply create a cloud formation template for common components, and store it in an S3 bucket. In the root stack template, you can create a nested stack by referencing another template in the resource section. You can use AWS CloudFormation stack resource type for the nested stack, and specify the template URL property to reference the template in an S3 bucket. You can also pass values to the nested stack using parameters. Each parameter has a name corresponding to a parameter defined in the embedded template. This allows you to add custom configurations to the nested stack. For example, you can use parameters to specify the EC2 instance type in the nested stack. In this episode, we've learned CloudFormation nested stacks. Nested stacks are stacks that contain some common components, created as part of other CloudFormation stacks. As a best practice, you should use nested stacks to declare common components. Nested stacks allow you to reuse common components, without declaring the same components in different templates. Nested stacks can contain other nested stacks, resulting in a hierarchy of stacks. Each nested stack has an immediate parent stack. The top-level stack is called the root stack. To create a nested stack, use AWS CloudFormation stack resource type, and specify the URL of the template you want to include. Okay, that's all for CloudFormation nested stacks. Thanks for watching and see you in the next episode. Hope you've enjoyed watching this episode. If you like the video, please help us and hit the like button. If you want to watch more tutorials, please subscribe to the Cloudemy TV channel. Make sure to turn on the notification and stay tuned. At Cloudemy, we're passionate about cloud and AI technology. Please share your feedback and thoughts in the comments below. Feel free to let us know what topics you'd like to watch. Happy watching and happy learning.